Well, Glass Note is kind of a haven for rock bands and artists that appreciate a team of people that really support them on the road, support them when they tour. We want them to be successful, obviously, because it's important to us as a company, but we really care about them and their future and making their dreams and their vision come true. They're very homegrown. I like them because like, they have one room, like, one <laughs> big room in their office. Like Everybody can see each other. It was nice to walk in there. Was it, I think it was Daniel himself who got, somebody got, was it the intern who got the bagels? I think the inspiration for Glass Note comes from the companies that I grew up on uh, when I started my career. Interesting, each company had just a handful of agents, so it was a really small family atmosphere, and I saw a void for an intimate company that could attract really unique artists. When we first saw Mumford & Sons, it was a night where they were playing just before The Temper Trap, who were an amazing live band. So the first thing we had is the validation from a band that we respected and loved. The truth is, most people didn't like Mumford & Sons music when we first heard it. They thought we were nuts. You're calling it alternative rock, but you've got a banjo. They were unbelievable. They were just this mesmerizing. These four guys got on that stage and just had the audience in the palm of their hand. So I knew we had something special. Um, nobody can predict double platinum. The first time I heard the Phoenix album, I, I literally fell off my chair. And I ran back to the office and played the music. And I just needed everybody to hear it and say, is this as good as I think? and people were convinced it was great. Once the music leaked and 1901 was just leaked out, the phone calls started coming in and they wound up on the big stage at Bonnaroo. They wound up on Saturday Night Live. Uh, radio really embraced the band and uh, 58 weeks later, it went number one on the rock charts. It's a bonfire, turn the lights out. With Mumford and & Sons and Phoenix, like that's what attracted me. I was like, those bands are huge. They can sell out huge, huge, huge places like everyone knows about them. Like my mom knows who Mumford & Sons is. A big thing they have going for them is, is how few artists they sign. They're able to really focus on a, a handful of artists rather than having a whole arsenal of a bunch of artists. So that, that was a huge deciding factor for us. We were in New York filming the music video for Up 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 and all the guys from Phoenix showed up. It was just so bizarre and uh, nice of them to take time out of their super, probably very busy schedule. Yeah, probably a super busy uh, Phoenix schedule to come just say hi and hang out. A band that we respect very much, Dirty Projectors, really gave us the seal of approval on Givers. If you uh, find bands that are unique, that have a musical direction and an integrity, just follow the band. It's really a company built on people who came here for the common goal, the common theme of building a lifestyle and a label and record company and publishing company that they'd be proud of in years to come.